News tonight, Justice for Greenwood celebrating after a judge allowed a portion of the group's lawsuit to move forward. They sued the city, county, chamber and others seeking reparations and rebuilding in connection with the 1921 Tulsa race massacre. Two News Oklahoma's Amanda Sleeve was in the courtroom to bring us the developments. After over three hours in court, Judge Caroline Wall ruled she will allow part of the lawsuit to move forward, but dismissed another part, saying she will explain the details in a brief to be sent out later. The courtroom full of justice for Greenwood supporters erupted into cheers and chants once the court was dismissed. History was made today. The Justice for Greenwood attorney argued the 1921 Tulsa race massacre has caused an ongoing public nuisance. He argues the massacre caused destruction of property and the three survivors and their descendants are still feeling the effects 101 years later. Historic Mount Zion was burnt down to the ground and that church had to rebuild and had to pay two mortgages off at the same time. And that is what this case is about. That is the harm. You just don't understand to be, what we had to do to, to thread the needle on this public nuisance case, but we did it. But the defense, represented by an attorney for the Tulsa Regional Chamber, argued the acts occurred too long ago, and declaring it a public nuisance doesn't provide remedy. The defense attorneys left immediately after the hearing without comment. A descendant of one of the three survivors says reparations are long overdue. There's been other nationalities that has been, you know, reparated. Uh, I feel that the uh, black community, you know, has been kind of left out over the years. I mean, it's, you know, Tulsa's making some changes, but it's not enough. Drew left the building giving me a thumbs up and shaking his head yes. The plaintiff's attorney also celebrating, saying no one has ever gotten this far with a case like this, and they are ready. we got a lot of work to do to prove, and we can prove it. We will prove it. But I appreciate her giving us the opportunity to show that we had the necessary information to move past a motion to dismiss. The judge didn't say when she would provide that brief with the details of the ruling, but we will keep you posted when she does. In Tulsa, Amanda Slee, 2 News, Oklahoma.